I'm kicking it back to 2001 with my playthrough of Jack and Daxter. Hope you enjoy the adventures through my childhood that I don't remember very well. Remember to sleep well, brush your teeth, and have a good day. Now I'm going to where we should have gone in the very beginning, to the beach. And the beach at night is always very serene and tranquil. The Centennial Beach. All right, it's another new area here. You can see all of the green there from all of the green eco giving us a life. And hopefully we can get to 240 precursor orbs here. Uh, you know, because maybe I can actually talk to the guy again. Or talk to the guy, yes, again, actually. Doggy? Doggy. Oh, he's such a cute puppy. Bye-bye. Um, maybe, you know, that can happen. Uh, this one over here is a pain. That guy is a pelican. He will chomp up that that uh, orb there. Yeah, you don't you don't want to deal with that. So here, oh, that actually is spicy. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Buzzing, I don't know what buzzing is, but that's fine. My name is Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien. Thank you for uh, watching this video. Uh, this video means, oh. I didn't even know that was there. So that works out splendid. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey. All right. So this area looks like it might be a quick area, but that's fine. Because after this, we can actually get out of here and go to the next section of the game. Which I am breezing through this. Which I am happy about because, you know, I'm enjoying it. So that's good. Avoid all the puppies. You know, any other context, I'd probably pet the puppies. But right here specifically... I feel like it's not as, uh, you know, desirable. So, especially because they're trying to destroy me intentionally here. So, uh, yeah. I don't believe these things appear at any other point throughout the game. I'm not quite sure. But, hey, it gives us another power cell, so that's good. So, yeah, getting right through it. And, yeah, so this whole area is based around green. Every single section of the game has a different sort of vibe to it. So the next section is all blue, and then it goes into, you know, other types as well, like fire and flames and all that. So this is, like, you can tell this is, like, meant to be the next area you go to after the very beginning area because it's a lot simpler. There's uh, not as many NPCs around here. It's a bit more spaced out. So it's like the intro area 2.0. So, okay, you get that kind of vibe there, you know? So... You know, I can't really think of anything else that uh, is actually happening right now in terms of outside of uh, playing Jack and Daxter. Uh, the, the weather is actually gorgeous outside for a change. You know, it's been, uh, as you may have, you know, tuned in to other videos I've done, it's been dark and dreary and kind of gross the past couple of, like, the past, like, two weeks have been particularly uh, gross outside, but then... You know, now it's like actually sunny and I have the window open and it's gorgeous outside. So I'm very much so appreciating that. Very thankful for that. Power lunch. I don't know what each of the achievements, um, you know, we get from that. But I'm assuming it has to do with the number 25 in some context. So I also have to free that bird. I forgot about the bird. Uh, the, the bird. The big birdie. I don't know where the birdie is. But, you know. Still just chilling and recording other things and uh, hanging out with me, myself, and I, you know. Uh, that's a giant shell there. But you know what? He's not doing too bad right now, so that's all good by me. And, you know, I, I mentioned it, I think, in the beginning of this playthrough, maybe, that uh, I took a couple of days to not record any videos and just kind of have some uh, time to myself, which that is always healthy to do. You know, you got to make sure that you are refilling your your emotional tank your energy you know because uh, if you worked and did stuff all the time you know you, you run out of energy it's like you can't constantly train for the olympics every single day or something like that you gotta pace yourself you gotta you know relax a little bit that's what life is all about is uh living and doing things you know so not that i've been particularly stressed or anything with recording videos but you know if you take a few days to recuperate your energy, then you'll be good. And just seeing all of those boxes that are gray over there reminded me that I did not get any of those other orbs at all 
in the last area. I I got a ton of them that were a, a part of the you know the whole sandbag thing, and I just totally forgot that was a thing. So oops, there we go. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted, but that's fine. I believe this is not where I want to be. Do I want to be here? I don't really know. Um, hmm. Well, let, let me go for this first. So this power cell down here. This guy steals it. He just yum 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 yum. So, yeah, nibbles that up real quick, and you have to chase after him. So let's see if I can accomplish that in a, you know, lengthy or short amount of time here. Not quite sure how this is gonna go, but you know, it's fine. There we go. Ooh, he spat it out. I think I have to race him over there. Actually, that might be it. Yes, it's totally it. Okay. But I'm not going to focus on that right now. I'm going to grab this. So, cool. I need to head back over there and grab that. But that's fine. Oh, you know what is actually beneficial? What I probably should have did last time was just have these sandbags aim for right here. Like, near me. Because they're going to kind of do that anyways, right? Yeah, they are. So, cool. Instead of me having to aim for them specifically, I feel like that's a, a better situation there. And I'm totally... Okay, thank you. Uh, totally gonna have enough for both of those precursor orbs from before or the you know the two from our, our friend over there whose uh, voice I seemingly cannot replicate any further um, you know that so that's good so we'll uh, go over here no I guess not man the range on that is pretty uh pretty good aim right here come on oh that's directly on me okay that's a bit inconvenient all right one more over here buddy what? Let's go. Uh, you know, actually, maybe that last area, we couldn't do that same thing because I don't know where these are coming from. Oh, up top there. Okay. Cool. So that is an actual achievable uh, spot there. That's uh, noted as well. So this guy does have this uh, power cell again. So we need to head over toward this way, right? Yes. Okay. So as long as I can outsmart him and go faster than him. It totally plopped me in the wrong direction there. Almost intentionally, I feel like. Come on. I need to use, um... Yeah, there's no way. I need to use the, uh, the blue eco. Yep, right. Oh, no, we're good. Wow. That bird is slow. Give me that real... Give me... Give it to me. Give me that. All right, that was very slow for a bird. Wow. I thought that would, uh be a much lengthier process so I guess I was just being a a, a, a kid that couldn't play video games because that was pretty easy so you know I guess like a lot of you reach out to me I guess and are like hey Brian you're so good at video games I'm like ah not really but you know I guess if I were playing this as a seven year old and I had trouble with that bird right there and you know now I did it in the first try here I guess I can kind of see why you think I'm good at video games, but it's because I played so many over the course of my life that these things now seem super simple by comparison. Okay, so these ones, we have to actually aim with the thing. Okay, grab all these. There you go. Hi, buddy. What's going on, brother? How we feeling? There it is. All right. Well, that was very easy. Yes, get rid of you, and there's that one, too. Not quite easy button worthy, uh, but we got through this almost this whole section in like seven minutes, or nine minutes, rather. So quite a very short amount of time here. Let's grab this real quick. Oh, the bird! I forgot about the bird, of course. Lest we forget about the birdie. Okay. A little higher. Yeah, there we go. A little high. There, that's it. Okay. And a little more. Wow, is that a perfect shot? Not quite. Okay. That was a perfect shot, though. Beautiful. All righty. That's what I'm looking... Oh, I have to go all the way back, maybe? Yeah. Oh, that's a pain. That's a big pain. All right. So all that's left is the birdie up top there, which that one... Man, I got through this whole area super quickly. I'm, I'm like, significantly impressed that I got through this super fast. And I died accidentally. Oops. Didn't realize that. Uh oh. <laughs> yep, that's uh, that's Daxter for you. Oh boy. So you start at the very beginning of the level again. Wow. 
you have all your stuff, by the way. You, you don't go, like, without having it. Like, you're fine, you know? It's not like you lose all your progress or anything. Like, you still have everything that you could, uh... You know, everything that you've gotten so far, which is good. Is actually a lot of games from back in these days occasionally are not as nice to you. They, they are a bit more relentless when it comes to things like that. So, like, I know in Banjo-Kazooie, like, every time you get the Jiggies, you know, that's obviously the main thing that you get in the game, but then the musical notes, I believe, uh, those, if you happen to faint during a level, and you have, like, you know, whatever amount of Jiggies you have, and the note pieces that go along with it, like, if you, if you faint before you get the Jiggy, any other music note pieces you got before then go away. So it's kinda, kinda ridiculous that you could work for so long to get all of those musical notes and then they're just kinda gone, you know? And I have six here, wow. Can't even give me the last one, jeez. All right, it's definitely around here somewhere though, that's fine. That's totally fine, there we go. Beautiful, take that. Push it, push it real good. Da -da -na -na -na. Here we go. Please, oh, come on, really? I was gonna say, that last dog better not get me. But I think the same one respawned a thousand times. So that might have done me in. There we go. Good job. Now beat me down here by the You definitely did not have enough hay down there, lady. Is that egg just like totally cracked open? Oh my. I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's a power cell for your valor. No, no! No, 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 no! Look, isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mama. Ah, I'm not your mom! You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. Listen, boys. I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. So I believe you can use that uh, bird there and ride around with it throughout the village or something. Because that seems very familiar that I can do that. So that's pretty sweet, right? Now there's one scout fly remaining. And is there anything else I can do here? It's one scout fly and then chase the seagulls. Chase the seagulls? What is that one? I don't even know where the sea- Oh, the seagulls are over here, I believe. That's a thing. They were right on top of the, um, the thing. That is very not specific of me at all. But they- they were over on, uh, this section over here, if you remember. Yeah, these things over here. So I gotta chase the seagulls? Whatever that means. Hey, seagulls! Get on out of here! All right, where are you guys going? Where's uh, where's the next area? If at all, you're over here now, okay. So maybe I have to chase them all away eventually? Un like, I gotta keep chasing after them until they go away entirely? Oh, the frame drops there. What? Okay. So I don't know why any of that happened, but all right, sure. So that whole area is done, except for that one scout fly. I feel like at this point I could go back and get all the scout flies, like do like a whole episode or time when I just go back and get all of them, but not right now. So I'm gonna head back to the town and see if there's anything else I can do before talking to Kira, who should be able to hook me up with the device to get through the fire area, right? We'll see how that goes. But before I do that, I want to talk to my friend here. For your gift, another Palpatine is yours. I'm going to do it in that voice now, like the Palpatine right there. The power cell is yours. Please take the power cell. And now I don't have any eyes. Oh, no. Uh... That works, right? That's fine. It's obnoxious, but hey. All right, so we have 27 left. Uh, there's no upgrades or anything you can get, like, with that. So, you know, don't even worry about spending them. 
Luckily, we had just enough to get every single power cell in the Sandover Village, every single, uh, you know, precursor orb around here. 30% of the way done with the game. I, I just started a couple hours ago. Uh, there's one left here for the Scout Flies. One left here for who knows what, because I got all the Scout Flies. Misty Island, same deal with the Scout Flies. And then the Fire Canyon, there's two. And presumably one of them is going to be because I just beat the area. So let's talk to Kira. And I believe I don't have... Well, I will have to come back here again. But I believe if you get everything done in the area, then you don't need to come back here ever again. And eventually, you can teleport between each of the different sections. So that's good, too. Uh, Kira, I have way more... Hello? No? Okay, I guess not. I have way more than 20, old man. So I feel like... I should be ready to rock and roll, right? Hey, man, what's going on, man? What are you two doing here? You have power cells to collect. Leave me alone until you have them. I do? Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to the Fire Canyon. I, I think she might be over there if she's not over here. Because the device... Well, I thought that was the device, but whatever. All right. Uh, oh, are you in here? No, I can't go in there. Okay, cool. So I'll figure it out. Oh, there you are. Hello. Great. You have the 20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees. So try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot. So keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! Cool. And then she just vanishes into thin air. So yeah, you cannot let this get over 500, which basically means uh, don't mess with anything that isn't the, uh, the balloons here just keep on uh, rocking through here. The uh, the blue eco, I'm assuming, is uh, not necessary, I guess. I'm just going to ignore it and hope for the best. And then hopping over here is probably beneficial as well. That definitely uh, speeds up the heating up process. So don't do that. Uh, there's seven scout flies as well as probably just finishing the area in general. So that helps. Um, this helps you go faster. Okay. So maybe it is beneficial. But I don't need to go. I don't think I need to go for every single one. Okay. There we go. Wait. There we go. Nice. Go over here. No, 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 no. I know. I know. I know. I know. Hold on. There we go. Uh, this might be tough, actually. Uh, no, 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 no. There we go. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Go. There we go. I got six. Wait. Oh, I missed one. No. I missed one, but that's okay. Because I can go back for the other scout fly eventually. Okay, so that was not too bad at all. Got that done in one shot. So now what you'll notice here, this is the rock village. This is the whole next area here. And you can see everything is very different. It's very dark and rainy. And the, the sage is not here. Uh, it should be a blue sage. He, he's not around anymore. I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the blue sage threw a party. Oh, my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no! I mean, Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! Oh! And it looks like the blue sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some ore. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers, then come back and give us an update, and take the fur ball with you. All right, so I don't know how many I need, but that's fine. Uh, there's Samos. Ooh, oh, that's cool. So the bird is here, so I could probably use that eventually. So I'm going to get out of here for now, because this is a whole next uh, chapter of the game. I want to thank you for tuning in for Jack and Daxter. I can't wait to play more. Uh, I'm going to play more in a little while, because I'm, I'm excited to keep playing. Uh, what's my percentage done with the game? 31%. So that's cool. I'll see you again next time for Jack and Daxter on the PS2, technically the PS4. See ya.
Have a great day and all that. Meow it out. Whatever. Yes, go.